Hello and welcome to the program. I'm Tenuel Ashaboele. It's the first day of the seven days warning strike called by the Nigerian Labour Congress and most government workers across the country are complying with the stay at home directive by the labour movement. Schools have been shut and students ordered to go back home as the labour leaders insist the industrial action must include every sector of the economy. NLC is demanding an upward push from 18,000 to 56,000 as minimum wage. It's the first day of the seven-day warning strike by the Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC, and its effect can be seen across various ministries and states of the Federation. Public schools, banks, state and federal institutions all locked down in compliance of the call by the labor union that there will be no work till the tripartite committee reconvenes and agrees on a new national minimum wage. In the south-south region of Delta and Edo states, students resume to find the gates of their schools locked as the union remains resolute in its fight in Akwaibom state. I miss this very position we stand. We are telling the whole world that come rain, I mean come rain, yes. come sun, we are ready to take our rights. Yes. They are fighting for us. They should pay us the minimum wage. It's not easy. Like living, living is very expensive now. This minimum wage has been long. They've been talking about it. So they should please pay us so that we want to work. We like to work. But let them pay us our minimum wage. And I commend our labor. I commend them so much. And I say God bless them. And I pray that they will succeed in this fight for us workers. In the North Central, particularly in Kwara and Niger states, Civil servants also joined the ongoing warning strike. And in Benue State, the labor union is calling for a review of the revenue sharing formula to enable states pay the proposed 56,000 naira minimum wage. You said right now some states are unable, like Zamfara, to implement the 18,000 minimum wage. Even those who have implemented, like, uh, let me start with uh, Kogi, Kogi and uh, uh, Oshun. Which, which is topping the list, and uh, probably Benue uh, are unable to pay. Now to the southwestern region of Nigeria. In Ogo State, civil servants at the Okemosan State Secretariat resumed their duties, while workers at the Federal Secretariat located at the Presidential Boulevard did not turn up. Any labor leader that what is on you must comply fully with the directive of national body because we are all affected. In Oyo State, all federal and state establishments are closed. In the nation's commercial city, the labor union have promised to shut down the airports. If a port has opportunity to open today, I am very sure they won't open tomorrow. Yes. Nobody flies in this country. And I'm saying it with all authority of labor of Nigeria. It is obvious that if the strike continues, the nation's economic activities may be grounded. The government and the labor leaders may have to dialogue again. Let's get more on this story now from a human rights activist and an African affairs analyst, Mr. Declan Hikari. Thanks for joining us on the program. You're welcome. What do you make of this call for strike? Yeah, uh, uh, strike has always been um, one of the legitimate ways of um, labor or organizer bodies to press for their demand. But uh, it's quite unfortunate that uh, what I'm seeing here is being tagged uh, national workers' strike in respect of minimum wage. You see, it's been on for a very long time. But the, the pathetic part of it is that the labor has always been so much interested in those workers who have government influence at the detriment of those who are on their own. There are so many Nigerians who are even being paid less than 18,000 naira as minimum wage that are, on, that are working privately for people. Labor has never for once 
fought for those ones. And it's quite unfortunate that most of the time you see labor asking for increments in wages when there are pressing national issues that one like me will expect labor to come out and say, yes, there's my governance here. We don't want this. There is some steps taken by the government that is anti-people. We don't want this. These are things that people like us are expecting. When government is taking a particular decision that is against the people, probably not obeying court, uh, uh, court rules, not obeying rule of law, and all those things. And I expect labor to, to come out openly and say, no, this is, this is not fair. But you see, when you are asking for increment in wages, you expect that things will skyrocket as soon as this money gets into the hand of workers. The economy will definitely be affected. So I expect in labor that you, rather than asking for increment in salary, that they should start asking the government to look at how the economy, how the high rate of prices of items should drastically come down. I want to see a labor that will be able to confront somebody like Dango T Cement to say, yes, you have benefited so much from this country. Why are we still buying cement for 2,500 or 2,800? I want to see a labor that will say, okay, uh, you did say that you're not going to pay for, for, for a subsidy. Why are we still paying for it? I, I want to see a labor that will say, Lagos Abekota Express Road is so bad. If it's not worked on within a few months, we're going to embark on strike. But you find out that it's always on wages, wages, wages. How long will this continue? So you, That's right the, now, you don't think that demand is realistic? Well, well, the demand could be realistic to them because there's what is called check, checklist uh, uh, due that workers are bound to pay to, 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 to the leadership of unions. But what I'm saying is this. It goes beyond those that are working, that those that are affiliated to NLC. This struggle goes beyond them. Now, if you're fighting for them, how about an ordinary, fine, this is channels. I, I, I'm sure you guys should also be, be, be fought for. Labor should also fight for you guys. But the, the issue is, it's limited to a particular group, affiliated to NLC. And that's where I'm having issues. Mm. That's why I'm having issues. It goes beyond asking for incriminating, incriminating wages. Okay, so do you think the federal government will bow to the demands? Of course, of course. The federal government will always bow to the demand. It might not be exact of what Labour is asking for, but they will definitely bow to it. Bow to it in the sense that, don't forget, 2019 is just around the corner. Election is just by, by the corner there. And uh, I, I think a, a reasonable government that wouldn't want to lose uh, the confidence of the voters will want to do something you know, very fast to make sure uh, they, they agree with the with Labour union. But, but beyond that, how long are we going to continue with this? So if Labour has also said that, okay, that the take-home of our government officials, the senators, the House of Rep, is too much, that we're, 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 we're down in twos because this money they're earning is too much. Somebody like me will not be in your studio today. I will also be on the street protesting that something must be done in respect of such huge money that is being taken home by this set uh, of political, uh, uh, political uh, office uh, holders. But mm -hmm. that is not the issue. That is not the issue. That is the pain I have. Labor have got so, many, so much power at its disposal to make sure that this country is a better country. If only they are focused, they are focused beyond minimum wage. So let's take a look at the issue of strikes. This isn't the first time, you know, bodies are striking. How effective really are strikes in Nigeria? Yeah, well, well, well strikes in Nigeria, effective sometime non-effective. I can tell you, from what you're seeing today, I bought it a bus down to channels until I see the transport system crippled. Until I see our markets shut down. Until I see, like my 12, shut down. I will know that a strike is effective. But as far as I'm concerned now, uh, what I'm seeing is that only few affiliates of labor have complied. And until labor has successfully won the heart of Nigerians to say, once labor says strike, every organ of the system within a nation is paralyzed. That is when we begin to get it right. Yeah. African Affairs Analyst, Mr. Declan Carrie, thanks for joining us on the program. You're welcome. Thank you.